this is Megan Bax, EXP Realty Seabach team. I'm down here in Stonegate at this beautiful single level Jeffrey Edmonds home. Get a little look down the street. It is open today and tomorrow. It just hit the market this morning. So you can see it's got a two car garage, smooth ex exterior stucco. This beautiful walkway. We've got Bougainvillea here to the right. Lush overgrowth. Got a little bit of weeds just because we've had so much uh, rain. And you see the block glass. That's going into the master bathroom. Very elegant entry. Honestly, some paint on that door would go a long way, but you've got some stained glass. Very Arizona with a beautiful soiree over there. Uh, brass hardware on the door. <clears throat> As you enter, you have a 12 by 12 um, porcelain tile. Dark paint, it is all one color. No two-tone, meaning the baseboards, etc., being a different color. So you're entering into the living room dining space. Gas fireplace. Oh, you're fine. You've got an upgraded carpet in here. You got this set for um, a dining area, but you could easily remove that fixture and just make this a big living space. The vaulted ceilings make this feel really tall. If you really wanted to make it a lot more light, I think a lighter pink color um, would really brighten it up a little bit. It's got a ton of natural light anyway because of the windows, but um, I think that would really brighten it up um, as you enter in here, you have your kitchen with a big eat-in space. You use it as a, a small great room, I guess, as well. Just do the vintage of the homes. They're not quite as open as we see today. You've got the built-ins here for your TV. Looks out onto this beautiful back backyard area with a water feature and you can see they've got some very arizona murals done in here it's probably a level three-ish granite um you can kind of tell by the runs in the granite what level they are the longer and more unique the runs are the higher end the granite is um, there's your kind of pantry space. You've got black appliances. Again, updating those to, um, you know, uh, stainless or that matte that's I prefer, just shows less, would be really nice. You have a gas range, really nice for cooks. That's kind of a uh, cherry colored cabinet there. Again, you know, pop in a, a white quartz or, or something of that nature, and you could even paint all these cabinets. <clears throat> we do have a full interior design team um, with professional designers as well as all the contractors to manage projects like that. So that's an option. Here's your island. You've got a reverse osmosis system, <clears throat> oiled bronze hardware, dual sinks. Stone Gate is, of course, guard-gated. It's located off Shea in about 110th, 114th Street on the south side. It's a huge master plan community with tennis, pool, spa, etc. Uh, located close to the Honor Health System and all the medical plaza around there. A short drive from Talking Stick and Salt River Fields. You've got a big walk-in shower, oiled bronze hardware, frameless glass shower. And that's that block we saw walking up. Soaking tub, oiled bronze hardware in there as well. You got this beautiful custom tile surrounding it, which is phenomenal. Um, and again, you just have that 12 by 12 ceramic in here. So maybe a flooring update would be um, do here. Separate water closet, and it's nice you've got this big cabinet above for some extra storage. So as you enter, you have the uh, French doors here. 
and you can see right into the kitchen from here and vice versa. I suppose if you close the one side or the other, that would change a little bit. Um, you have one walk in here, mirror, door, and you've got built-ins, and then the same carpet that's in the living. Kind of a peachy color in here. But nice built-in, some block glass, just kind of your run-of-the-mill light. Let me see if I can get you a better angle on the bathroom. You do have the dual sinks. I don't call it quite executive. It is not executive height. Um, so, you know, you could either put a box under these cabinets and raise them up or just replace those cabinets if you wanted that taller height. A lot of people like now. A lot of recessed lighting, which is really nice. Of course, fire sprinklers, which are required in the city of Scottsdale. Um, kind of a more kind of glass, double glass fixture there. Um, carpet again in the master. And you have a second closet here. Again, that brass giant mirror door, which makes the space look a little bigger. And here they painted um, a little lighter, but it's still, again, I think um, you'd want to go fairly light in here because um, your north-south exposure here which is nice, but you've got a lot of shade. So if you wanted to get a little bit more light, that would be help, you know, a little brighter feeling in here. But it feels very private here. Um, you've got the walkout glass door. Vaulted ceilings, of course. It's a king size bed, so you've got plenty of room in here for furniture, dresser, and all that. <clears throat> A little decorative niche right here too as you come into the kitchen. So let me get you another. Yep. Ah, yeah, don't I was gonna say don't worry about it. I'm just trying to get the whole, you know. It's hard to do it when you can't see it. It's hard to know. It's the best I can do. <laughs> um carpet in here. Here is your den space again. Easily could be put back to a bedroom. You'll notice it's had nice plantation shutters on everything. You've got to walk out again here to your side yard. You have some citrus trees in here, um, or out to the side here. I think it was an orange tree. Your real basic white fan, and they've you know made this into a den, so they're listing this um, as a tutu, but you can put the closet door back on and convert this back. You know, put a doorway here, a true doorway, and make this back into a bedroom if you needed that space. 12 by 12 tile. Um, again, you're gonna have brass hardware, regular old doorknobs here. Six panel doors, which is nice. So you swap out that hardware and make a big difference. Um, I'm gonna wash up cheap cabinet there, but nice laundry space with that. No room for a sink, but you know, most of us. Get by just fine without that. Um, really nice granite in here again. You've got the oiled bronze cabinet poles, faucet, custom mirror, um, not executive height. So again, you may consider raising that at some point if you're remodeling or not. You know, a lot of, a lot of homes don't have that. Frameless glass shower door, nice custom tile. It's the same as this in the bathroom. Pretty wood medicine cabinet. And here you've got, Throughout the house, you've got about a three inch baseboard. It's in good shape, um, you know, making this a little taller always makes it feel a bit more elegant and modern. In um, the second bedroom, you've got the half round window, plantation shutters. This is uh, south facing on your decorative niches, which is are really nice. It's green in here. And then you've got the brass um, mirrored door. So these ones are really, really nice, and um, they actually do move, um, which a lot of them are kind of fixed one way or the other. So really nice uh, window treatments in here. This is your doorway into the garage. And you got an epoxy floor. It's about due. Water heater, of course. Um, water purification system. You've got built-ins over here, but it is an extended length, so if you've got a longer vehicle, it would work just fine. 
<clears throat> Just kind of got to the side yard. Um, AC unit looks to be new. Um, and you can see this is the patio off the uh, den. Is that the patio off the den? Yes. And that'll be your living area. They come out here really nice. Stamped concrete out here. You've got beautiful cactus. This water feature could use a little love right now. Um, it's just a little algae in there, but I bet that's lovely when it's flowing. Um, really nice shaded area and a small covered area here. And then there's your shared wall with the single level next door. Um, so that's your exit off the master. Anyway, lovely home. Um, it is a zoo in here. As you know, the market is super hot. So let me know if you have an interest. I would expect them to have offers today, though maybe not be presenting them until Monday to give the full weekend um, for their two days of open houses to get people through here. So I know they have seven showings today, um, probably more by now. So um, let me know if you have an interest, 602 980 9098. Thanks.